Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we talk about what's obviously most critically, crucially important. Today on This Is Important. There's a raccoon coming out of my penis. Why is this making my butthole itch? I punched my mother. I pissed firecrackers. Yeah, blaze away. Strap in. All right. we're, uh, oh, we're in the mix. Friendship. Friendship. Hit us with it, Blake. Friendship. Friendship. I'm your friend. Yeah. So much yeah, love yeah. on your yeah. soundboard. So much love. You ever hit that shit when you're not on the pod, when you're just like late night drunk thinking about us? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm constantly just sitting in my room just playing the soundboard thinking about you guys right you're like oh i'm so lucky thank you god (laughs) out of all of the uh possible buttons to hit when you're alone in your room late at night thinking about us what is the button that you hit the most often blake hit us with it oh wow yeah right there (laughs) yeah Yeah. that checks out Uh uh-huh the soundboard (laughs) that's what blake calls his dick Okay. You kind of bail. Hey, hey. Why'd you bail yeah, on the boys. joke and then you double back for it? What happened there? You got nervous? No, I think I, I think, uh, I think there's a lag going on and it came out and then Durs caught it and then we came back and now I hit it and now here we are. Yeah, I don't know if there was a lag as much as we just kind of talked over each other and then yeah, yeah I, I think that was the case. That's par Do for the course. Do you guys think it was a nightmare for for people who were like professional writers before they came to Workaholics and then they came into oh, our writers' nightmare. room? And they realize like, oh, louder is w- what wins and gets in on the show. Oh, yeah. Uh, louder equals well, funny. Well, we didn't have, yeah. Yeah, I would say, yeah. Uh-huh. Or just like It was the, a little the... bit of a lion's den of um, a little shouty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was a ball of I, energy. It was a mosh pit of comedy for sure. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. It was a, an atom bomb of energy. That's right. Mm. And the chewing the ice on the microphone, I love it. <laughs> And I want to thank you for doing that, Blake. Yeah. Go. You got it on true eyes? Go ASMR. closer. You're not supposed to. Why? Go eat tinfoil, why don't you? Well, tinfoil if you got fillings, but what's the what's the matter with ice? I think they said if you chew ice, you're sexually frustrated. I always heard that. <laughs> hey, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so what? I'm going to be... What cool doctor... Is this like the Ozarks doctor? Did you go see him? No, I... You remember when they'd say, like, if you wear green, you're horny? No, that was green M&M's. What? I thought it was just if green. You, if you ate green M&M's, they made you horny. It's science. What? It was like the why, green dye? Why it, does like, green made... make you horny? Green the color makes you horny? The green the M&M's are actually filled with testosterone. No, green the color was <laughs> like, if you wore green the color, like, you were like code mm-hmm. that you were horny. You were a horny dog. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I, got, I got green eyes, so watch out now. Isn't that the Ooh, thing? Ah, like, ah. there is like, <laughs> <laughs> there is like things to colors. Like, green makes you horny. If you see orange, supposedly that color makes you hungry. Is it orange? I always heard. What's is the that science? why? Is that why McDonald's is yellow and red? Yeah, that because subliminally it makes your you very very hungry. So if you wear mm. green, it doesn't mean that you're necessarily horny because you're not looking at yourself all day. Is you're trying to get everyone around you horny? So what's oh. up with that shirt, Blake? Yeah, that green shirt. Yeah. You come on the podcast on, trying to get us all horny. Hulu, uh, Hulu has live sports. Okay. Hulu has live sports. Everybody. That's cool. And you uh, in my contract. The, you are getting paid for that. Yes, since I'm on set uh, for Woke on Hulu, I'm being paid to wear the Hulu has live live sports jersey everywhere I go. Are you on set right now? Pizza, pizza. I'm not. I have to wear it offset. Oh, wow. This is a really intense contract that that, uh, Isaac (laughs) made you sign. Are you there in the AT to the L? Oh, I am. I'm in the... Peace up! A-Town down! I'm all the way in it, baby. (laughs) I'm all the way in it. I'm just... W- looking for Usher everywhere I go. Yo, how green is it? I was just there like a month ago, and I was like, it's so green here. There's like leaves and stuff. There are. There are tons of leaves. It's a it's a lush, lush place. I was just L.A. can get a little like brown. That. L.A. can get a little dried out. It gets, and yeah, it gets a little rusty. It's like it gets humid little, and lush, and you're like, holy shit. It gets a little dusty, yeah. Yeah, I, 
I kind of di didn't think about this, but Al Atlanta is sort of a magical place. I didn't even, I forgot until I was driving on the freeway and I saw this big installation that looked like a torch and I'm like, oh shit, they had like one of the sickest Olympics here. It was like, yeah, uh, that was a dope Remember Olympics. that shit? Where that was dude found the bomb in the thing and then they mm -hmm. made a movie about him? Oh yes. shit, yeah, yeah, Clint Eastwood made that, yeah. That's right, he did. Was Michael Johnson the world record uh, like 100 meter and 200 meter was that Atlanta right was that the gold shoes yeah. remember he oh had gold oh, yeah. shoes dude Dang. that was I, I'm all about Usain Bolt and that was amazing but like before that the Michael Johnson shit <sighs> dude do, yeah do he people still man. fuck with the Olympics in the same way that they did back in the day like I feel like when we no, were kids I was don't. like give me some Dominique Mucciano yeah, right. for sure. I was like all about them little <laughs> gymnastics girls because yeah, they were like sure. our age. They were like 14 right. years old or however old. And you're like, yep. yeah. oh yes. man, that's I need, I need a girl that can do a, a triple axel or something. Maybe that's where like your body type fantasy came from. The CrossFit <laughs> yeah. was just those little oh. jacked gymnastic girls. I for sure think that that's right. Because when I see the, uh, the, that uh, Simone Biles girl, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying mm -hmm. to get them arms. Did you just call her Simone Biles? Si Simone. <laughs> You lose. Simon. 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 What is her name? Simon. Her name's not Simon. What is it? Simone. Simone. Simone like a regular human name. Like I've never heard the. Name? I've never heard the not name. Not a Simone. cyborg. Simon. You never heard the name Simone? <laughs> Simone. No. Who's? Who you never heard Sim the names. Who what about Raven Simone? Simone? Raven Simone. I'm trying to think. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. What about <laughs> well, that's her last Raven name. Simone? That's her yeah, last name. Yeah, but that's still a name. It's still a name. But that's still a name. Simone. Yeah. Hold up, though. Hold up. Who is named Simone? Okay. I don't know. That's what I'm. I know, uh, but we've heard the Nina name. Nina Simone. Heard the name. Yeah, Nina Simone. Nina that's Simone. a last name. Who's Nina? That's Simone? also a last name. <laughs> it's right. also last names. Simone. I'm just saying. Who's I've never the first Simon. name. I, I miss. Wait, Simone. Yeah, Simone. I think it's this There's girl. Go to Simone. School Simone, with a Simone. I just broke it down. She is the first human being in existence to have this as a first <laughs> name. And she's breaking all kinds of records. Let's give her roses. Yeah, <laughs> give her flowers. We're doing. We're constantly yes. giving roses. Hey, what? I would love. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and give Simone her flowers. Congratulations, right. Simone. Huge <laughs> we fan. We should start Huge a new give her the flowers. I'm not so much a fan of her actual talent of being like the the best gymnast of all time. I'm just a Ever. fan of them arms, girl. That's what yeah, I. That's sure. her. That's Wait, what I would like to give her her flowers. Period. End of praise. Uh, <laughs> done. Was, was she, she looks jacked in tank tops. What, was she the one that recently? I don't know what they the like the. I don't know if it's Olympic trials or whatever. But on her little like unitard, she it was like bejeweled, and there was like a a goat in the middle. Like mm. she is the goat. It was such right. a, a fucking. I think cool that was flex. U.S. U.S. Nationals Gymnastics Championships. Were wow, just the other that's days. huge. Was that's that awesome. her? Was that Simone? That was Simone. I don't know. Simone. Uh, Simone. Yeah, she Give just Simone. won. It wasn't it the like the most, and I'm Simone. definitely butchering this, but it was like seven uh, championships. Right. She's the first to win seven, maybe consecutive. Yeah. So she's or maybe, like maybe she's bottom the, line period. She's the greatest of all time. And then I saw like a a little gif that was saying that Sports Center posted about the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight 15 times mm -hmm. and posted zero about her breaking yeah. that record. And Can we talk uh, about this? Sure. I'm like, sure. Uh, match. Yeah, what is Dude, going on? We have well, to- Well, let's get Simone. Well, let's all fight each other for hundreds of millions of dollars. I'll That's the, the whole thing, it's just a publicity thing. Or actually thing. might lose. <laughs> what, what, what? I gotta I think, get racial. I gotta I get think, racial uh, on this. Oh, uh -oh, yeah, oh, uh -oh. yeah, I gotta That's get what racial. Okay. 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 So like, this is important. <laughs> we're all familiar with the great white hope, right? No. Okay. Right. Yeah. Not really. Um, what do you mean? Boxing <laughs> has been taken over by black people and Hispanics by and large. And there's mm. every once in a while some mm. white dude that every mm. other white person can be like, oh my God, mm. I got to watch this fight. What if he takes out this black guy on behalf of all of us? And oh, basically okay. oh, what I see racial. in this fight is that like, this dude isn't even a professional. Yes. He could whoop the shit out of me for sure. He's a big dude. I would love to see it. I'd love to see it and I'd love to throw your name in the ring. I would love to get paid to get punched by that dude or his brother or his cousin. Whatever whatever pays. Any any YouTuber or TikToker, I'm willing to fight <laughs> for money. This is a an amateur. So everyone's like, oh my God, this regular Joe who's been working out like a motherfucker is about to beat this dude. He's big. He's about to beat the greatest boxer of all time and yeah. put like white people on the map. I'm no. not here for it Absolutely. at all. And Durs, let me give you the exact counterpoint. No, mm -hmm. not at all. We are not watching these fights to glorify 
a white guy. We're watching it to see him get his ass beat. No, the wrong. only reason I am paying money or watching these fights because I want to see you. a Paul That's brother you. I get guarantee touched. you. No, everybody wants to see him get beat up. I think mm -mm. these exhibition matches are so stupid because you're. I was rooting for neither of them. I was like, I, it would be great to see Logan Paul get his ass kicked because you he's lose. making a mockery out of boxing and the whole sport in general. And then also, also Floyd Mayweather, I'm like... Yeah, this guy's such a fucking idiot. Why is he? Uh, why is he giving this ki this guy a platform Whoa. to box? I hope he gets his ass kicked too. I was hoping it was because a double he's a knockout. draw. That's why. I thought it was a. I would. I wanted a double knockout, and they hit each other at the exact same time, and they both uh, die on impact. <laughs> Explode into <laughs> butterflies. <laughs> That's tight. I mean, it's basically we're cross. We're at a crossroads. We're at a crossroads Finish between him. like. Kyle, we're, we're losing you. You are chunking. chunking like a motherfucker, I'm so Kyle. Sorry. Am I never back? chunked Am I here? harder, my man. Hello, Kyle, hello, coming hello? to us Greetings? live from the Unabomber shack. <laughs> Greetings Where's from the cabin on a 5G hotspot. He's out of here. Where's okay. my guy? He's dead. Bye, hey. bitch. Goodbye. Everything's Goodbye. dead. Well, I do want to hear what he has to say, but like, it is crazy. It, it's crazy. And like, fight like a dude in your weight class. Like, get get in there. Work your way up. Like, Mickey Rourke never was like, I'm going to promote me, myself Yours. to go fight. He fought like nobody's at his level. This guy is not trying to be a boxer. No, he's, he's just, just trying, trying to be trying the to most, most famous. And he's doing such a great job of just collecting checks. And that's what Floyd Mayweather said, too. There's a... For all the white people. It was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah. But... Uh, I he was he said like i'm the best at legal bank robbing that was his quote he goes yeah, i'm sure. the best at legal uh, bank robbing and you're like uh but it's yeah. not even bank robbing he's robbing people <laughs> you know what i mean sure. like he's he's not getting my money but he's getting people's money yeah no yeah, people are sure. paying for it people Crazy. wanted to see it uh i and yeah, i kind of admittedly i kind of wanted to see it but i wasn't going to spend 50 bucks i was like i should if i knew how to uh, a, steal things off the internet. If I wasn't just such right. a fucking idiot who didn't know how to do anything right. on the internet, uh, I would have stolen the hell out of it. I'm, yeah, I'm super dumb on the internet. In I life. want him to fight his brother. You're a stupid dumbass. I want the, I want oh, the brothers to fight. Okay, the brother yeah, fight. Yeah, but then is if one of them loses, then then the game then the gig's up. You know what I mean? They gotta what? keep. If one of them loses, then then it no, goes. No, they rematch. They don't fucking what? They just keep fighting each other. No, because no. nobody's ever gonna want to watch these guys fight again once they get. Because it's white on up. white. Is that what you're saying? Oh come on! Hey, hey Durs, you said it. <laughs> you said it. We're said all it. thinking but, but, but it. But what you're, you're saying you doesn't make saying sense because if he loses, you're saying if he loses any of these fights, he gets to go. Well, I just fought a real boxer, so of course I lost. So we get to keep fighting. I don't get it. Yeah. The, and if he yes. fights his and brother reason, and his brother and he, one of them kicks the other brother's ass, then the other brother doesn't get the shine. Then he but doesn't they get, the get to. Rematch. But then Nobody they're, wants they're to canceling watch that. The fights each other aren't even out. Good. But you don't want to see oh, – because at that point you're just like, yeah, I hope they both uh, have heart attacks in the ring and die. You, you know? <laughs> That's you no you one want to the simultaneous for. knockout. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, yeah, back Kyle, to the death. Kid. Are you back? No, I'm back. I'm back. Can Kyle, you hear me? Are you I back? No Can you hear me? Yeah. What uh, were you gonna say? Wake up! I, I was gonna say we're caught at a crossroads yeah, between um, between celebrity deathmatch and professional boxing. It's like we should just go full on into celebrity deathmatch. Yeah, let's death bring match. that back. Yes. Yeah. Someone did mention that the other day when I was watching. They're like, it's getting very close to where we could actually get some kind of celebrity death match going that would be yeah. so sick <laughs> who would you want to see but you these are people you want to see die because it is to the death um yeah i got i mean it would be a bonus if the people fighting i actually wanted to be dead right. but um just if you're putting your life on the line out there a battle to the death that's going that's going to be probably worth a watch right it's going to be a pretty intense viewing and that's what you that's what you like an intense viewing yes i'm all about the tension I like mm. I like a really. Is good that tension. what intense is long for? Tension. Yeah, intention. <laughs> well, that's a whole other word. <laughs>
I'm like Mark. scared to talk because I'm pretty sure I'm chunking hard. That's good. It's good to be scared to talk on a podcast. That's. I feel like I'm about like you know five seconds behind you guys. I apologize. Yeah, and and what about the actual internet though, huh? <laughs> oh, fucking zing! Wait, he's gonna get it in three, Burn. two, one. Burn! I get Got you guys. Him. I get you Burn guys. Burn notice, Kyle. Uh oh. Yo, do you guys want to hear some crazy shit? Yeah. Wait, hold on. We got some breaking news. I was here. just in Yosemite for uh, almost a week with my family and stuff. Nice. And, uh, Hell yeah, bro. Yosem first of all, Yosemite's dope. Go check it out. It's the oh, best. There's like that's, some sequoia that's trees. That's really that you the drive only through. national park I've ever been to. It's fucking stunning. Gorgeous. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So we're up there, and my little one is like, there's a worm in my poo poo. <laughs> and we're like, <laughs> what? Huh? And oh my god! Emma goes to check the dookie, and sure enough, there's a little worm going. And then oh, we're like, oh well, he's god. got pinworm. So we have to like all take this medicine. And then the next day, my big dog is like, Dad, there's a snake in my D hole. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a <laughs> raccoon coming out of my penis. Uh, no! He was like, <laughs> he's like, I had a worm too. So we're all like boiling our clothes and like changing the sheets and like oh emailing everyone at the schools and stuff. Wait. Wait, so what, wait, does wait, that, wait. what does that mean? Why Worms in your poop. What does so, that like, mean? So if you're a little kid and you're like sucking your thumb all the time, like I guess there's like in germs, like somehow there's like eggs that can get like left um, like on your fingernails and stuff like that. And then you oh. suck on your thumb and then it goes into your body and then worms grow in your uh, digestive tract. And <laughs> they, eat, they eat your food, right? And then like every once in a while you shit one out. And like I'm just uh. checking my dookie every day. Different than Dookie Trans. Doo -doo. Uh, That's cool. So how do you check your gnarly. Dookie? Do you do you fish it out of the <laughs> yeah. toilet and like take a fork and kind of smash I it? I mash up it or... in my hands. I squeeze. Yeah. Do you kind of get one of those like garlic peelers and kind of run it through that and see if any worms come out? Yo, of it? the Play-Doh style. <laughs> yeah. Do you get the, uh, your your kids Play-Doh? <laughs> These are all good ideas. I should look into it. You, you just squish it out, make it look like dreads coming out of the little toy. Oh, yo. You dookie, <laughs> and then you just kind of get up all weird, and you turn around and you eyeball it, and you're like looking for any movement. Oh, uh, why is this making my butthole itch? <laughs> How big was this my thing, butt. man? How big was the worm? L like um, a half inch long. Hey, Sorry, I said a half a schlong. So it was pretty uh, big. Nah. So Ten your inches. kids, uh, at least six inches. Cause they got some big yeah. old wambos I've down there. I they know sure they do. do. Huge yeah, they got my long. exact same. So, wait, why does everybody? So do the worms get transferred through clothing to other people in the house? So why do you have to boil everything? Cause like they, the eggs, there's like eggs on your butthole. Like you gotta wash your shit. It, it's crazy. Uh, it's cool that your children are Weird investigating wild stuff. their shit intensely enough that they saw the worm was it like a lot of worms no it was one so he okay. was three and a he's three and a half or whatever almost a little more but he just came out and was like mom there's a worm in my poo poo and you're like what first of all why are you looking <laughs> you're like what, second of all idiot? like he must have felt a little squirm or something like that or heard it screaming from the toilet bowl um, <laughs> help <laughs> but like, God, i'm drowning <laughs> emma didn't believe him because you're just like all right but then yeah you think he's making he's, he's doing some fun make-believes right he, which we're I get. all about the worm bits in our house too yeah. which is like extra confusing. there's a dragon in my poop -poo. right i pissed firecrackers <laughs> right but then she checked it out and was like sure enough and then arnie we were like is he trying to like be part of it because it got a lot of attention right yeah right right, right right and we were like is he like uh i have worms in my poo, -poo too <laughs> Yeah, there's an earthworm in his dookie. It's like, right. wait, that Did doesn't you add dig up. that up from the backyard. <laughs> there's, there's just like you guys went fish, fishing. There's like minnows in right. there. Yeah. Well, they call, Dad, did you guys call the, Did you guys call the big worms bloodsuckers back in the day? What leeches? Oh, like no, the no, big, no, big earthworms. Earthworms. Yeah, for sure. We always called them bloodsuckers. No, yeah. I've heard them called night crawlers. Because why are they night crawlers? Because they come out at night. That was the most fun thing as a kid when uh, we would like be uh, camping, going fishing the next morning. And dad was like, you got to go find those earthworms, those night crawlers mm -hmm. to, uh, so we can fish the next morning. And then it's just, you're hunting, you're covered in mud and you feel like you're doing actual work. Getting right. the worms. Yeah. Right. Early bird gets the worm, man. So That's worms are cool. So the moral from. of the story is my kids are cool because worms are cool. Worms are cool. Yeah, yeah, were they, yeah, did, yeah. did they feel sick? <laughs> Thank you, God. Did they feel no, sick? No, you don't even know. <laughs> They're just parasites. God. They live in you. They eat your food. Um, and I guess like if you don't 
check your dookie it just takes like three months to cycle out so you so, guys have all probably had them for do sure Do you uh and i'm always <laughs> investigating my dookie so that's weird right. that i haven't seen with it. the garlic thing i always take it out smash it up with a fork that's why i kind of that was sort of my what i do with yeah. it uh yeah, every like time i take a shit play with your mash i shit oh, on right. a plate and then i kind of shake it off into yeah. the toilet mm -hmm. and you, you guys know that it through me. a little thing like you're searching that's for how gold. we met right uh, well, these are, yeah, I'm feeling like maybe we have a little yolk on our face because Carl yolk. was talking about, Kyle, Carl from Wigal, sure. uh, <laughs> he was talking about the red meat worms last pod, and right. now all of a sudden, your kids have the worm. Is the new saying, instead of yolk on your face, you got a little worm in your butt? <laughs> yeah, I got a little worm in your poo, well, hey, buddy. Guys, I got a little worm in my butt because yesterday... Uh... Well, I'll say I never had worms as a child. I have not dealt with that, but... In my life, uh, something I had to deal with was lice. Did you guys ever get down with yes, uh, sir. Uh, lice? Yes, sir. Nope, never had Dude. a party with them lice. I had a big party with them lice. I remember one time when I had lice, like uh, my mom. But you guys you were have to, dirty kids, right? Yeah, you had to comb the lice out of your hair, right? Fucking you remember that shit? Sucks. <laughs> okay, well, my mother ran a daycare, and there was this one kid, oh, sure. allegedly, Elijah, who always had lice. Always had lice. Every week, he would come back with lice. It's like, what the fuck are they doing over there and bringing this kid over here lice every single time he came over? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you would have to use That's this sad. special. <laughs> it was kind of sad. I yeah. feel bad for kids. I'm sure he's doing very well. But you would have to use this special shampoo and then these combs that are super, super, like, like the 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 bristles are super close together, so that fine they, tooth. Yeah, very get, extremely fine tooth. How do you get lice? Tooth. Are you and I'm? Not, this is not shots fired against you and Kyle, but mm -hmm. are you like a dirty kid? Are you like wh what? Burn! How do you get it? Well, if you're not maintaining your hair, the lice are like yeah. And but then if you're playing near, they literally jump from head to head. Yeah, I remember a kid, a kid in my class. Like we all would hang up our coats in in like right. a row uh, right. in mm -hmm. elementary school Hell or whatever. Yeah. And then I For remember, sure. it's no big deal. Yeah, I went to a pretty cool <laughs> elementary school. This guy had we coats. Hung up our coats. <laughs> and nice. uh, and one cold? kid got That's lice, it. and then it was like a full thing. They had to, my mom had to like wash my coat because I guess they they leap they leapfrog from coat to coat. Right. Yeah. So that's how you get it. I mean. You don't necessarily have to be the dirty kid at school, but... Yeah, but that dirty kid brings it. But I remember Kyle... Right. <laughs> one of the funny things that Kyle told me, because I was getting this lice, and then Kyle started to get the lice, probably because we were just freaking hanging out all the time. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. Kyle, when you were getting mm -hmm. your hair brushed, remember you came back and you're like, dude, my mom was, like, brushing my hair, and I... It hurt so bad I hit her. Yeah, I punched that's that's I punched sorry, my mother. Mama. I did, yeah, I punched I my like, mother. What? She was combing through my hair and it was you just punched her or you like pushed I her punched away. Her. Oh no, I punched her. Well, how old were you were you when you were assaulting your mother? Thirty two. Uh, no, I was probably I mean I was like eight or nine and we played slug bug all the time, so it was like punching was kind of like what we did. Right? But in there you could With punch your mom? Her. Yeah, for Is sure. Your mom the bug? My mom was was like, yeah, you can punch me in the shoulder, but like you have to be careful, like be be you know, don't try and hurt. But the one time Why I was tried hitting to hurt, you. we're playing a game. It's called You're, Punch Bug, Slug Buggy. Did you ever go to yeah. to school and they're like, they you, they have yeah. to talk with your mom because they're like covered in bruises? Did your mom slug you back? <laughs> My mom did hit me back. Yeah, for sure. That was like, yes, okay. it was it was like a mutual like kind of thing that we would do. She was like mm -hmm. tough and I was like, you know, 10 or 11 or something like that. But when she was combing through when she was combing through my hair, I hit her way too hard. It you was like very, <laughs> it was very wrong. Where? It, Where did you hit her? Like the shoulder? On the shoulder. But you know how like you can hit like the, the muscle and then you can also hit the bone and like the bone kind of hurts a little more. I hit her on the bone and it's like, I'm sorry, mama. But I didn't, <laughs> I didn't really know, you know, <laughs> it's yeah. a reaction. Sorry, mama. <laughs> Where's my mom? I'm I got, sorry, mama. Where the f*** you, Cap? I've got no mom in my headphones. <laughs> But I love how she's like grooming you, getting lice out of your hair mm -hmm. as like a favor. Yeah, like a it wasn't solid. like a, it wasn't like it was like out of nowhere, like she pulled your hair or something. This was like she was doing something very kind for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I she took it. Yes, you're right. Taking care of you, and it just mm. like a knee jerk reaction to yeah. be like, mom. Ugh. It's one of those things where it's like it's, <laughs> it's like funny, 
until it's not. It's like the dudes who jump out at people at Halloween and then just get socked in the mouth. Yeah, get their ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. It's the- funny until your mom calls us and asks if we will take this pod down. Right. I mean, <laughs> she had reconstructive, <laughs> reconstructive surgery. She's fine. Yeah, she had to it's get a, a nose job. Uh, I, sometimes I feel like when when those guys jump out at Halloween and guys just beat the shit out of that Andre's person. Birthday. Um, on Andre's birthday. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if... Like for sure, because I get having to punch, like punching someone, but right. then when they just like, they get so mad that they're scared that they have to just continue to beat the shit out of that person. Right. I understand like yes. the initial reaction of, because I told you guys about the time I uh, uh, assaulted a woman, uh, <laughs> where me and Chloe were at a- uh, I'm pissed now. <laughs> so we're two out of four <laughs> here, <laughs> go for it. I think uh, I, yeah. I might've told the story, but we were at uh, like n- not scary, <laughs> farm mine was a random woman and or no we were at uh haunted horror nights for universal and and uh we're walking through one of those mazes and it was like really dark and there's just like it's kind of strobe lights and she jumped out in front of me and And she had and she was selling a choro (laughs) she was working at the uh Mm-hmm. The popcorn stand, and uh, she jumps out, and I just sucked. I just did, I did like a, a rabbit punch, and it punched her in the face. And then I like went to console her after I realized, like, oh, I just hit a person because I was scared, and I just punched him. And then I went like, I'm so sorry, and went like this, and then just cupped her t- mouth. And she, oh, oh my <laughs> god, where is this going? And then. No! Yeah, I go, I go, I'm so sorry. And then just like went out to reach her to be like, I'm so sorry. And I didn't know it was a girl, you know, she's wearing a costume. Sure. And then like I feel this and then I'm like, God, I'm sorry. And Chloe's like, what the fuck, Adam? What are you doing? And then I <laughs> held her underwater by the <laughs> vagina. What? So you you hit her and then you sexually assaulted yeah. her? Yes, I did. I oh, told, man. I did You're like, mean Chloe, to. run. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. This yeah. is- <laughs> hey, this is important. <laughs> This is the, all allegedly. Uh, right. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and to that, uh, these are jokes. Scary, <laughs> to that scary clown, uh, Adam just—he'll be apologizing at the end of the pod. <laughs> he didn't. Re- he didn't mean to elbow you in the face and then squeeze both your teeth. It wasn't an elbow. It was, a, it was a little rabbit punch, and uh, and then I just had to give a honky honk. Uh, it, w- it was an accident, you know. Uh, yeah, I got to uh, happen. <laughs> guys. I'm in Texas right now and uh as you could tell houston we're in houston we have a problem Mm -hmm. and uh my dad is here if you guys would like to say a quick hello is this our first guest on the podcast our first first guest first guest here well i'll I'll let him talk i love it just uh just a few minutes because i i'm a whore for this hot pub you know and i gotta get i gotta get back to it but he does want to know why you guys haven't reached out about his cancer diagnosis okay here you go oh okay (laughs) okay (laughs) what what do you want a hug and a kiss jeez (laughs) hey buddy where the love is it's right here it's beaming Dennis what D, up? what up, dude? What legendary up? dad on the pod, first guest ever. I would I like know. it no other way. How are you, my I'm man? I'm good. I'm good. Killing cancer yep, one cell at a time. Yeah, yeah. that good fight, yeah, dude. Cha-cha. How? How? I mean, are you? We heard your um, yeah, still ripping bongs and all that, and yeah. good spirits. Oh hell yeah! That uh, I the kids didn't believe me when I talked to the doctors in the Ozarks, and they said, yeah, blaze away. And uh, mm-hmm. and then we come here, and so the best doctors in the world say, "Shit, you got it, smoke it." And, That's right. and there's <laughs> there's still one, there's still one another opinion. <laughs> no, right that's on, the dude. only opinion yeah, yeah. that matters. <laughs> that's right. That's right. They said, "Just don't make don't make that your first question." Yeah, and how's uh how's how's Houston treating you? Are they are they doing you right and all that? Uh, Houston's good. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, Saw some baseball, saw a little basketball. So that's right. Yeah, everything's good. So what's the deal? Are you, you're doing chemo? At, do you get to like have local grub, or are you on a certain diet that they got you on for no, this? No, in fact, they told me to uh, eat everything. So I did. I gained 15 freaking pounds. Hell I'm yeah, gonna be. Really? I'm gonna be the only fat cancer survivor. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's the secret. That's how you beat it, dude. That's, that's right. Put those pounds on. Yeah, feed Put that cancer. On. Feed that cancer. Yeah, bro. dude. Gosh, we we're f- just fucking rooting for you, brother. Well, yeah. Thanks, man. Like, yeah, I really it's been, feel it's like it's crazy, an excuse but... for uh, 
obesity for yeah dad to get his back <laughs> i'm not even convinced he has cancer uh, <laughs> because ploy, he keeps just, for sure like he'll have like eight helpings of something and he's like the doctor said and uh hey. now he's got man boobies yeah he's got some serious hey, welcome nice. to the party there yeah buddy they feel good <laughs> when you like go downstairs quickly and they shake oh yeah i love yeah. that feeling thank you thank yeah. you Please. Is Adam getting you any voiceover work with this new uh, smoky yeah, you, tone you've got? No, you sound no. cool as fuck. No. Talk to his agents. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. And but for all of you, <laughs> for all of you that don't you know like this, a Dennis for Quiznos or something, real quick. <laughs> Dennis is the one who did the noise at the end of every Workaholics oh, episode. Yeah. That was his voice. Is uh -huh. it him or is it Adam doing an impression of? No, Dennis? we pulled Dennis back no. into the room and he did it into the microphone <laughs> a couple Dennis. times. It was yeah, me. <laughs> hell yeah, it is. See, Dennis, this is what we have to deal with with Kyle and his Kyle's chunky chunking. Internet. I'm his sorry technology. about that, sir. Well, actually, he brought up a good point. Now that it's out there for for all the lawyers, I still haven't got yeah. my check. Oh my dang! Check. Yeah, my yeah, we got my you. check is still missing. Mm -hmm. Talk to your son. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah Adam. Uh... <laughs> Adam, what's going on here? Get your dad paid. So, are you getting to spend quality time with with the kids and everything? And is like Penny out there with you and everybody? Yeah, you got a good crew around you. Everybody's here, so that's nice. We're uh, we're all just hanging out and doing our thing, smoking weed, smoking weed, <laughs> just blazing <laughs> every day. Okay, yeah. Dennis, the Houston We Have a Problem shirt is an all timer. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I loved it. I don't think the doctors found it very humorous. <laughs> no. Yeah, those guys got no humor. Yeah, yeah. they got to be serious. But yeah. when you beat it, you got to like cross that out. We have no problem. Yeah. Or we yeah, have a problem. We've ran solved. out of weed. Yeah. Right? Problem yeah, solved. Problem solved. Exactly. Yeah. I like the idea of you like, um, testing their their sense of humor by doing like pranks on them and stuff and they're like sir if you could just this is uh really serious stuff yeah right. exactly. just... yeah this, there's nothing funny about cancer right. this is cancer no, my man sorry you like put yeah. you pull your arm up your sleeve and you're like my arm fell off last night and they're like wait what you're like, yeah, i'm fucking with you is this one of the For side sure. effects right yeah <laughs> but i do i man i honestly like you know i've had a lot of like experience with cancer in my family and i i do believe that half the battle is just keeping like that positive attitude and like really just you know being able to 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 find those moments to laugh and just be around family and just mm -hmm. really you know it's it, it's half the battle for sure so oh, yeah, it's good sure. to see you here and smiling and everything oh, and you're, good, you're looking great it's good to see you guys yeah. good yeah. to see you and we're Keep gonna have to smile. come hang out yeah, yeah we're, gonna, we're gonna have to come try kick to get out in the there. ozarks I'm trying to get Hell a, well yeah, that's brother. for sure that's going down Hell yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. that's that'll really be, happening that'll be a good time we'll see if we can oh, yeah. smash jet skis and destroy boats okay. Hell yeah Shoot that's down. what we're all about that's... i want to go tubing like a nine-year-old hell yeah <laughs> but that'll that that can be painful that would be fun toss me <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing you i'm hearing you all right well i better let you guys get back to podcasting Cause that shit's yeah, man. Thank you, Dennis. Time we to go are not be funny for a little longer. Yeah. Well, yeah, man. we're super stoked to have you as the first and only guest on This Is Important. That's right. right. There you go. There you go. That's right. Hey, there he is. Much love, up, Dennis. Brother? If you can hear me, much <laughs> love, right, there, dude. Yeah. All yes. Right. Love you, Dennis. Right. Love you, bro. Guys. Love Later. you, bud. Bye. Later. Bye. Wow. The man, the myth, wow. riveting the hot content. Hey, man, it was just good <laughs> to see him. You're right. I, I keep getting all of my news through you. I never actually went to the source to reach right. out to he Dennis was, He's D, playing it man. cool. He's a little salty for a minute, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn. Uh, have you, you guys have never seen him without a goatee or, you, you know, that was the first time. Yeah, he's a new dude. He looks like a turtle. Mm -hmm. I'm a turtle. Yeah, no, How's that I, not on the soundboard? I, uh, <laughs> Am I not? I like turtle. Well, no, yeah, the, 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 from the no, from uh, the fucking what's it called movie? Dana Carvey. Master movie? of Disguise. Oh yeah. Turtle, Am I not turtle. turtly enough? For, yeah, I got to get that. Yes. Turtle. Yeah, that that will be here. Man, that show, that Next movie actually I like sucked. I love him. He's the funniest. <laughs> but that was the worst movie. Was it? Was it is crazy how funny he is. Um, and no one seem to write him something oh yeah it's really really bad yeah what were his other movies clean slate good concept movie uh, kind of forgettable he was yeah. like a detective who every morning he forgot everything
Yeah, check it <laughs> out. <laughs> it seems like a decent. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe if like Joaquin did that, it'd be a, a slam dunk. Yeah, for sure. Joaquin's gonna knock that one out of the park. Because you didn't believe that he didn't remember stuff. You were like, this guy remembers stuff. I can tell. I, I think it was more like there was like a love story, and like I don't know. I just never see like Dana Carvey as a romantic lead. Yeah, and there's just tons of weird sex scenes. In did we? Are, <laughs> we've already talked about. Ace Ventura, how Jim Carrey was definitely like, and as silly as this guy is, he fucks like a champ. Like he really rails this woman while animals watch. He <laughs> gets a blowjob in the man. first ten minutes of the movie, and they're like, "Yeah, okay." <laughs> Would he though? He's kind of a buffoon. Yeah, I know, but he can he can fucking lay pipe though. Uh, it's funny. Get it? Because he wouldn't be able to, so it's funny. I know, Crazy. there's weird, jo <laughs> weird jokes about how he's just getting laid constantly. It's so yeah, cool. like it's that funny. And I'm 10 years old just going, yeah, this is how people behave. That's how it works. <laughs> that's how nice. I have to I check the. I gotta check the writing credits. I have a feeling he may have. Well, been that's in, uh, uh, that's why I did Ace Ventura impressions <laughs> for uh, for five years in a row after that movie came out. I was like, this is how this is how girls th these. Girls like guys that act like this. Mm -hmm. Somebody hey, uh, stop me. Who okay. can? Will you go to the dance with me? All righty then. <laughs> uh, is that a yes? Shakaka. A buddy of mine had to go to rehab because he. The oh, parents, yeah, this is great. The parents sent him to rehab because he wouldn't stop doing Ace Ventura, Jim Carrey impressions. Like that was he, the addiction? He, that's all he talked like for two years straight. Yeah, that they sent him to rehab to like stop the cycle. I think that was... would be such a cool Strange Addictions episode. Uh, God, that's great, and I feel for him because it was it just it worked its way into you in on like a old school it's level, science. like anchor man. Yeah, like, <laughs> and if you're ten and you're just running around, it's science quoting that movie like a glove, like a glove. All I know is I, I really wanted to get the kind of pants he wore. He wore like those like red and black striped pants. I'm like I've got to dress just like Ace Ventura because this dude is getting made. Right. I think I had gerbos that looked like that. Some striped gerbos. <laughs> well, that's, that was because it was pre-internet and pre-memes like memes and GIFs and, uh, and all that shit. So like that was the social currency of the time, like knowing right. the quotes. And, and if you said it, people are going to laugh. Like you didn't need your own joke. It, it's it's very footballs. much like how kids today will just rehash a, a meme and be like, that's yeah. funny, right? And other kids laugh and they're like, I'm killing it. Yeah. Yes, Satan? <laughs> Everybody's just acting like King Batch. Hey, do your kids like and subscribe? <laughs> do they say like and subscribe? Like Ooh. walking around? Like yeah. after they say, oh, dude, that's funny. They just, as a little thing, go, yeah. A buddy like of mine subscribe. always posts like with his little nieces and nephews. And they're always, they always will like say a thing and, and at the end of it be like, like and subscribe. As I'll if it's on YouTube and you're just like, oh, those kids are watching way too much YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's I would say that. Yeah, that should be a, a sign that maybe they get off the iPad for but, just do you guys have bit. like an iPad? I love that. It's this episode's kind of just become like a, a parenting uh, tutorial. Well, Father's uh, Day is coming up. It's, it's a dad theme for yeah, sure. It's a dad theme. Right. I mean, we uh, have one of the most legendary dads on the pod. Dennis True. D, Dad. baby. And could you I guys tell that there. his voice is uh, fucked up, or does it? It sounds a little fucked up. I was saying up, right? you yeah. need to get him some voiceover work. Yeah, yeah. I tried to get a commercial out of him real quick, and he didn't. Yeah, at first I'm like, why is why is Dennis using his sexy voice on us? Is he trying to fuck us? And then I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as the divines go, if he punches you and squeezes your titty, then you know he's trying to fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you look yeah. look. You guys oh, didn't mean scare part? that man. Us divines, we get horny when we get Honk. scared. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Uh, so I actually went on an adventure last night. Um, for mm. my first time ever, I went uh, to a, a drag show. Have you guys ever <gasps> been to a drag uh, show? Yeah, I have I one think time. So. I did like a drag in Atlanta. Right. I, I might have been there. It, it was a like drag uh, Some breakfast bros. place. It was like a <laughs> okay. drag brunch. And we <laughs> went and ate uh, eggs rancheros and watched uh, the, these drag queens put on a put on a show. You just Peace reminded... up, eight town down. Atlanta's cool like that, man. Atlanta's cool yeah. like that. 
I went to one back in the day. Shit. This dude who was in Second City with me and Adam. I think he was in my class before I jumped over to your class. Mm -hmm. He did drag, and I went to his show, and it was it was awesome. It was intense. Oh, dude, it was it was very cool. I had a great time. Um, what was but the like theme? going? Uh, was there one? There wasn't a theme. It's usually like you know, lots of Britney Spears yeah, lip syncing. The theme mm -hmm. is that they are men dressed up as women. That's the theme. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, there was other, a drag there's, there's king as ones, well. Though. There's oh, like really? a, yeah. there's like the famous Golden Girls where they just reenact episodes here in LA. Right. The, right. Right. Oh, that Mexican yeah. restaurant in the, the basin. This one Dang. was a little like kind of like underground and like seemed like a, you know it was kind of like this was the first time the dude had hosted it, but he'd been doing it for like ten years, but. I could see where it could get very big. I mean, it was big. It was grand for how small it was, but mm -hmm. I could see where it could go off like Vegas style. I bet those drag shows are insane. So Blake, right. And everybody is, is having so much fun. This is what mm -hmm. I'm getting from you talking about this. You want to do drag. When we do the live show, we do, th this is important, Apps. the guys do drag. And we all come out dressed as women uh, and put on a fun show. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, this was the thing. I'm like, I, I go in there, right? I'm I go down the stairs, and while I'm walking down the stairs, four um, you know, four guys ask me like, "Hey, will you take our picture in the stairwell?" And I'm like, "Yeah, for sure, for sure, of course." I take the picture. I'm handing the phone back, and the guy's like, "Wait, are you Blake from Workaholics?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm actually here. I'm 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 filming something here in Atlanta." And he's like. Right. Yeah, yeah, I could tell because you have makeup on your face. And I'm like, no, no, I don't have any makeup on. He's like, oh, yeah, you, mm, you do you're have makeup. You're covered in like, makeup and glitter mm -hmm. and you're wearing lipstick, though. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not wearing any makeup. We actually haven't started filming yet. And he's like, oh, okay, so you're here alone. I'm like, no, my cast is, all, uh, is, is right over there. He's like, hey, don't uh -huh. worry about it, dude. I'll keep it on the DL. I'm like, you don't have to keep it on the DL. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is his running bit with everybody he runs into, he, who he assumes are knows from the internet is straight and it's just like okay you're gay uh, I yeah it's like, right here it's but it was so weird so i go i go over to the other cast members awoke i'm like this dude just told me that i'm wearing makeup what's going on and they're like dude you look fucking insane the whole place is like lit with backlight or uh, black lights mm -hmm. and i guess <clears throat> like the, Some of the moisturizer i use has spf in it and right. it was picking up with the black light right so my face looked like it was glowing like i was wearing glowing white face or like mm -hmm. i was like one of the neon gang members from batman forever if you right. get that <laughs> reference it was like right. i, I looked you. thank you god insane or like I a background actor from belly uh <laughs> exactly i thought you were saying like like the, the one of these guys got a little too close and like you rubbed your face <laughs> against his butt cheek or something Aww, and you got right. little, some butt cheek makeup on your face or something yeah uh, that's those are my favorite pictures going. <laughs> We're like a, at a club, like a black dude will have been dancing with a white girl with like crazy makeup on her face. And when he comes away, it's like on his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. He's like, oops. Dude, but uh, Lamorne took a, a video of me. You guys have to see it because I look so crazy. I was so lucky that it wasn't just like a, a club club and it was like drag night because people people go all out and like they show up in wild ass shit. Like they'll just have... So people just, just thought like, oh, and... look at look at him. He just decided to put yeah. on some some fun white face, and that's not racist because yeah. he is white. He can do that. <laughs> They're like, he's here on the DL. <laughs> he's here on the DL, but he completely like make up himself out. I wonder if he's getting on stage. I think it was... <laughs> it's a nice little shout out though for everyone out there who uses moisturizer like Blake does. That uh, yes. steer clear from from black lights because uh, apparently you'll it glow. Can be... Yeah, and what moisturizer was, are we talking about? And I didn't. You use moisturizer on your face? As a Californian, you gotta put on some SPF, dude. We get hit by that sun. You're gonna get like skin cancer on uh, your I'm face. I'm getting these cool spots around my eyes from my fucking dude, goggles. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting a, sun, Perfect. a sun spot. I got a sun spot right there, man. That's like some old people shit. I did not think I was gonna. And I'm pretty good about wearing sunscreen because I go in the sun mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go get them just, lasered off together, Adam. Is that how you do it? Do you get it? Do you get it lasered? I think you can. That, yeah. Oh, okay. It like, if it's if it's that easy, then hell yeah, I'll get all zapped. I'll, I'll never wear sunscreen again and just uh, and just get it zapped every time. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's science. Would, science. I would say maybe get them get them looked at. I don't know. I I, I just don't think uh, any kind of spots on your body are. Dude, just give me an exacto. I'll take care of you, man.
I don't know. That doesn't. Well, we're here in Houston. I could just uh, go with my pops and get it checked out at uh, MD Anderson. Shout out MD Anderson yeah. Hospital. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Blake, any relation there? I I got to look into that. Mm-hmm. That would be really cool if I came from uh, really smart doctors. I'm going to say no. Uh, nobody in my family is a smart doctor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just because mm-hmm. I feel like I would have got some of the trickle down knowledge. And heard. I'm a pretty dumb guy. No, that trickle. Blake, you want to no. get that trickle? No, it, I am. Okay. Even though when I, <laughs> when I, when I <laughs> all right. Well, now that you double down on it, yeah. All yeah. right. The the way I know I'm a dumb person is because if I meet someone dumber than me, and it's very rare that it happens, it mm-hmm. really sticks out in my mind. Right. I'm like, like whoa, this you must be dumb as. Fuck. Right, 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 right. Like yeah. that actually happened when I got here in Atlanta. Like the person who was kind of working the front desk of this place was wow, blow them up, <laughs> dude. You're dude, gonna be it was just, like uh-huh. you're gonna be staying in this hotel for like two months, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, this guy's so for the person sure that worked there is super, is super smart, but this other guy that was there randomly, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, this, this guy's listening. He's, he's like, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Blake. I'm going to listen to his podcast. And then I he, literally yeah. know what room you're in. I know. He's going to fucking put pinworms in your fucking toilet. Well, I'm just saying, dude, as a front desk concierge, you, there are just a few things you got to know. I literally asked, yeah. like, where is what floor is the garage on or how do I get to the parking garage Mm -hmm. and they're like I don't know I think maybe second floor and I'm like but it could be three or four too and I'm like right okay okay Mm, you work here right (laughs) yeah and then I checked and it was and then I came back down like immediately after and I'm like hey you were right and they're like what I'm like second floor the garage. And he has like, no idea who you are. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, dude, hey, doesn't this guy talking? At I'm me. right about what? <laughs> uh, You're that right. Is weird, I, it, I mean, we're all definitely dumb in our own ways. I wouldn't say we're dumb <laughs> people. Like in general, in, in the grand scheme of life, I wouldn't say any right. of us are actually dumb people. But we're definitely sure. dumb in our own specific certain ways. Do you, uh, yeah. Do you think we're smart with our powers combined, the mm-hmm. four of us? Okay. Um, do don't want to make. Do you think we're smarter? Like our our smart powers combined are smarter than our <laughs> dumb powers combined are dumb? Like, are we collectively <laughs> stupider than we are smart? <laughs> I think um, with all that, of us. Or do you guys even understand what I, I'm saying? I do. I, I don't get it. No, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Goodbye. the reason that we work together as a group so well is that we're all. Uh, where we're the deficiencies, what we're good mm-hmm. at outweighs our deficiencies. And you're you're g- smart at the thing I'm dumb at, and I'm smart at the thing that you you're, right. you guys are. Like right. I'll be like, guys, what right. time so, is it? Well, You'll said. tell me. And yeah, we're we'll, we're able to. It well said. Right. Uh, yeah, we're able to tell time. That's that's the only leg up I have on dirt. With the four right. of us combined, we can tell you the time, the month, and the day of mm-hmm. the week. But it takes a lot of work. Yeah. No, I would say, <laughs> I think the magic of us is how collectively stupid we are. That's why I love us, guys. Come on. Yeah, no, That's well, for sure power. that is a reason. But the reason that we work together and that we've been able to actually um, have a career and have careers together as a right. unit is that as managers and agents. Is, yeah, we have people <laughs> pushing us to start podcasts. Yeah, and, true. Uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> and we're really sexy. And That's yeah, I will that say is that we're true. So Washboard sexy. abs. Hot, 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 hot. We've, we've gotten yeah. so sexy with age mm. too. With age, yeah. With we've age? stayed young looking, guys. We've talked. I know we talk about this, but I- I'm gonna just circle back to this. Well, we kept our hair. Skin looks great. We're getting a couple spots, but hey, we're getting a few we're spots. We're pushing forty, hey, and we're gonna. Do I make you? We're horny, gonna laser baby. those bitches off. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm Blake. I am surprised that you don't have like uh, sunspots or way more wrinkly because well, you he used has to. A routine. You used to uh, sit in the sun all day long, and like you, that was your goal is to see how uh, dark you would get in the summer. Yeah, that's right. We would have the, the the like tan off, and I would never wear any well, sort of sunscreen. But there wasn't much of a tan well, off. It was the rest of us would go about our lives, and then but you, you guys would, had jobs. Yeah, you would actively <laughs> sit by the pool, which right. the rest of us weren't doing, and you would sit there all day long, being like, "The tan off has begun," and we're like, "We're not really doing it." I mean, at the end. <laughs> Hey boys, you're looking a little little dusty out there, man. Uh, you better get by that pool. The, tan off. The tan off is happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, we didn't sign up for this tan off at all. We're like, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, sure. Oh yeah, you're gonna go out on a lunch date? 
with a girl. That's cool. Okay. Turn off though. <laughs> You're going to watch a movie indoors in the summer, and that's not good for the tan. I'll off, be though. here by myself getting <laughs> tan. Yeah. Oh yeah, Adam. What you booked a show? Uh, you're in a commercial. Oh. <laughs> I'll be tan off. Uh, I'll be here reading another X Men book. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. Uh, I'm too busy tanning. I'll be right here tanning. No, because I never really these squirrels and birds tanning. I never really had uh, freckles or anything, and it was like the last two summers of being in uh, being in Orange County by the beach. Mm -hmm. And just being in the sun all the time, all of a sudden my, my skin was like, oh, you done fucked up, boy. Mm -hmm. You done <laughs> fucked up. I'm Fuck like, it. You're going to have freckles all over. You're going to have a weird sunspot. You're, we're making you look all old as hell. Chloe's like being passive wear... aggressive. She's like giving me like $200 face lotions and being like, I don't know, just to keep your skin healthy. Uh, here you go. Put this on mm -hmm. your face yeah. at night. And I'm like, uh, why do you think I look old? No. No, I don't. She's no, been putting no, no, no. it on when you're sleeping. I though. don't. I don't think so. She's like, <laughs> I was told not to wear <laughs> reflective sunglasses because the sun hits the like mirrored part and then it just blasts onto your skin like it just tenfold or something. Well, I wonder if that's what, what? it is because it's right under where like a sunglass would right. would it kick it. Maybe it's right. Because I was wearing down. mirrored goggles uh, swimming yeah. outdoors, and it was just like, because you have to for, for backstroke. Everyone out there knows Everyone this. Everyone knows. Hey, yeah. uh, don't act and it was like just destroying my cheeks. I love my cheeks. Uh, Dur wait, wait, I got a pool, they... the house I'm renting in Charleston, because uh, I'm mm -hmm. there normally shooting the Righteous Gemstones, and I have a pool, Give me a hell yeah. a pool at this house, which I've never... Yeah. I haven't had a, a pool in a long time since I lived with Blake, where he would sit yeah, out by mm -hmm. the pool and get uh, and do his tanning. Uh, <laughs> and you wouldn't watch I won. him, but you would I not just be looking out the window at him. I didn't take. We didn't take enough advantage of that lap pool. We had a lap pool at the workaholics house where we lived, and there was yep. a an awesome lap pool back there. And I like the first year we lived there, I went in it probably five or six times, and then the next year two times, and then the years after that, I never went in that pool like ever. Well, mm -hmm. one, it, it was disgusting. Your garbage. There was there was truly just like uh, snakes and frogs and reptiles living inside of it. But uh, <laughs> right. yeah. but this pool is very nice. I'm gonna get one of those. Uh, I'm gonna get one of those leashes. Do you fuck with them leashes? The like swim leashes. Uh, oh. I, have, I have a leash. I have a leash, and it's it's okay. It's weird. What I got because my pool it's probably only like I mean not only it's great. It's like 40 feet long probably. Which oh my still, god! Only Ugh. I know, I know, I know, I know. But like, as far as like a, a swimmer who was looking for a legit workout, you want at least twenty-five yards. Fifty meters would be great. So I bought this drag suit, which is like but, a but you can't have like that a baggy in your backyard, suit. right? Fifty what? meters? That'd be insane. No, 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 that'd be crazy. But some people have twenty-five like yards, which school. is like legit. Um, okay. But like, I bought this drag suit that has these pockets on it that like um, kind of like parachute out right and so you swim super slow so it takes me more strokes to get across but then i just strokes. also started swimming again at the rose bowl and uh it's just way better oh okay. yeah but i can't so go. you're saying i shouldn't and because those leashes are kind of expensive i was like all in i'm like oh, i'm gonna spend like 500 bucks on like all this shit what yeah i got some links 500 like, yeah, i got some links and there it's like 500 bucks for all this no, shit. no 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 send me what you're talking about because i want to see what you're talking about but i'll you can <laughs> no! get stuff for like a hundred dollars tops where you have a belt and like oh, a bungee cord that you tie you know, to something dane cook he he <laughs> wait this, this is i like this yeah, right strap it well no because <laughs> dane cook hit me, hit me up uh when i was cycling all the time well I mean, and i still right. but he was mm -hmm. hitting me up right. at the beginning of quarantine when i was like talking about my bike and living a, a real cycle mm -hmm. lifestyle and he was like Yo, dude, i'm into cycling too if you're ever in hollywood we should go riding together i'm like okay right never was never did uh, and then like a few months after that, he goes, Hey, I'm off that cycling shit. I found my new shit <laughs> is swimming. And I'm, he's like, mm. if you have a pool, it's a hell of a workout. You should get a, a leash and go swimming. I'm like, I don't have a pool, but now right. I have a pool and I hit him up. I'm like, Hey, what's up with those swim leashes? And then he sent me all the shit that he has. And it's like $500. I know Dane's just rich as fuck. I, right. He, so, but he got yeah. swindled. Here's, yeah. I guess, what I could recommend to you <laughs> is doing like interval shit where like you push off and you go all out for like 20 seconds and then go back to the wall, rest for a minute and do that like a bunch of times. But as far as like casually swimming in place on a leash, it really, to me, sucks. 
but if you want to like <laughs> if you want to like it. swim all out and see how far you can kind of pull the the stretch cord that's kind of fun um but yeah swimming in place casually for like 10 minutes or whatever you feel yeah. insane like imagine thing sucks. Uh, imagine being like tied to a tree uh, with a belt on and you're and you're running in place you know it's like weird that sounds terrible yeah right so you're saying but okay. like i guess the uh, thing that would be like a stationary bike is pretty legit but you're saying swimming in the water is well like swimming swimming and actually going across a pool is great. So if you have a big enough pool, what about, it's great. But I had the thing that blew the water at you. Right. And that was okay. That like, it was all right. Kind of, okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So it was like know. swimming in a river. You just kind of swim in place because it's blowing water Which I at do you. all the so time. On, yeah, this, uh, love on this podcast, we really covered everything. We covered our, you know, how our skin is aging, uh, worms mm -hmm. and poops. Uh, my dad yeah. got mm -hmm. on here. You guys got to see mm -hmm. Big Dennis mm -hmm. D. Uh, First guest, yes. the the hairless hero, and mm -hmm. uh, and now we we talked about our fitness routines in the pool, guys. Mm -hmm. We did it all. And guys, Olympic one. trials. Yeah. I think it starts tomorrow. Oh my god! This, 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 in this, Omaha, yeah. Adam. I always wanted to go to Omaha for trials and and fucking see your old stomping grounds. But thank you, God. Uh, one day time. we'll get there. Thank you, God. We'll get there. We'll get there. One day. Yeah. Then, then, we'll oh, and when there. do they do that? Then uh, Olympic trials next time. Is that three years from now they do it again? Yeah. And All what's right, cool we'll about then. that one? It'll be in four years. And I and I'm gonna qualify. You I'm are be there as a swimmer. That'd be so, so tight. Be different. Would you be the oldest Can't swimmer gonna to, be... to qualify? I don't know. Dara Torres was 41, I think, when she swam uh, the 50 free. If y'all don't know Dara Torres, yeah. get, get out. It. You know um, our you know where our knowledge stops. It Anthony stops Irvin, with Simone. Was, Anthony Irvin was mid thirties <laughs> yeah. when he. My uh, favorite swimmer is Simone. <laughs> Simone. Uh, any take Simone. backs, uh, apologies, um, epic slams. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to epic slam Kyle, who's not on the pod yeah, today. He, what the? He really just dropped out. You know what it was is he he had poor internet, and then mm -hmm. instead of trying to get back on, he goes, "Fuck it." And, uh, <laughs> and I can't blame him. Fuck it. Yeah. And Been it's there. just out. Yeah. yeah. And it makes sense. That's, I did I miss him there. too. I did miss him. I really I missed, missed him a lot. I bet he had a ton of really but... fun stories about salads and other things. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I bet he had yeah. lice. I bet he had lice. He had to go check his <laughs> hair. He was itchy and he was like, mm -hmm. actually, uh, wait a minute. I, mom, he did, mom. He did go out with a good one though. He, he, he's like, I punched my mom and uh, are you, so like, I know. <laughs> Like, wow. Well, <laughs> all right. Punched his mom. <laughs> yeah. Can well, I do uh, an apology? We'll back Let me do an apology Absolutely. to everyone who mm. I privately, not publicly, but mm. privately thought were gross, disgusting families when their kids uh, got pinworm. Um, okay. Now I know I'm part of a gross, disgusting family. Yeah. And um, Absolutely. As soon as my kids are free of worms, back to judging other families. Good. The cause of diarrhea. Good, Good for you, man. True. I'm glad you're, yeah. you're growing True. as a person. And I'm judging, admittedly, in, I am judging you and Emma and just how you're raising those sure. children to get worms mm -hmm. right yeah. now. Or not raising uh, them. I don't know where Not raising right them. Yeah, those children are wolves. <laughs> Human wolves <laughs> out in the wilderness just eat, obviously eating garbage and getting worms. Mm -hmm. The yeah. little uh, one does howl a lot at what yeah. he calls <laughs> coyotes. Mm. He's like, Yo, I'm a coyote. <laughs> That's how that boy Little got worms. Dookie inspector. Wild man. Right. And then I have a spray <laughs> bottle and I just spray him in the face. Yeah, they don't uh, like that. I'd like to a big shout out to, to Dennis D who's just sitting over there uh, looking at uh, Instagram right now uh, for getting mm -hmm. on the podcast. Oh, yeah. First guest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first guest ever. First, first and guest. last. Yeah, we're Unless done Unless Denzel yeah. Washington does want to get on the pod like we keep hearing that he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that would be fun to talk to him. He probably have anybody with a den in their name gets on the pod yeah okay denzel dennis divine any woman mm -hmm. named denise Cat mm -hmm. denise is a strong name not a lot of denises anymore i feel it's like no not simone of, it's no <laughs> simone with you yeah we need, we need some, some denises denises <laughs> do you think there's a, a baby <laughs> named denise like anywhere born this year i feel like yeah, that I name think, like I think that tiffany name are gone came, came and went I feel like if, right. if we do the uh, This Is Important uh, drag show live, 
uh, which <laughs> I think it'd be fun. I think it's a good pitch. I'll bring my dad out as Denise and full heels, full uh, six mm -hmm. inch heels, the whole thing. That's He's funny. shaking his head. Hell yeah. He's excited. No about wig. It. Have you guys dressed as a woman oh, before? Yes. <laughs> have you guys have ever dressed have, as a woman? I did for Halloween one time. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did yeah. for Halloween in high school or something. I, I did it like, for TK's pilot. That's you right. You that? looked, oh, that's you right. You looked terrifying. Yeah, you I got a post scary looking pics. broad. Uh, yeah, yeah you got to post those pics. Get this. No, a buddy of mine, it, listen to this. A buddy of mine's Norwegian. brother, racist. So a buddy of mine's brother, uh -huh. Uh -huh. full blown racist huge, guy. Huge, um, okay. uh, whatever the fuck that boxer's name is. And so, uh, Okey <laughs> huge Jake Paul fan. And so <laughs> yeah. he just, Thank you. Uh, uh, he just had an affair with a black girl. Mm -hmm. How the, they found out was the they sent uh, he sent the the black girl photos and sent the fo mm -hmm. the photos and the uh, kid was looking at the iPad and all of a sudden the photos came up on the iPad and took it to the mom. Uh -uh. Those those photos are him in full on cross dressing. He was like a, f a full on mm -hmm. uh, drag. Right. Uh, and how crazy that's is why he's that? racist out to a black woman? No, he was racist just as a person. But then and then he he, he was dating <laughs> a. Uh, black girl. So then he was like, "See, I'm not racist," and we're all like, "Yeah, but you're you were pretty racist, though." How crazy is right. that? There's like that's just goes to show like how many weird layers and there are of people, and how many t anytime like someone is that th that it leans too hard one direction, you're like, yeah, "Oh, right. something else is behind that." They when you it. when you hate something so much that you're right. you there, there's something else you happening hate. there. You hate yourself. That being said, I don't. I, I want to clear this up. I don't hate Kyle. <laughs> Just, I'm pissed you, now. I, I don't Kyle. hate, 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 hate him. But like, you know. <sighs> you want to be him. You want to fuck Kyle. Be inside him. Well, cool. Let me take really that back. Stuff, I don't want to be inside <laughs> Kyle. Only because I might get dick lies. When you see my dick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. You didn't pull that one out all right, at all. Good. No, I got a lot of AT ATL sleepers, but I'm gonna be here for a while, so. Do you want to do that one more time for me, more. please? Yeah, sure. When you think my dick. Do the do, do twenty year olds know that song? The Ying Yang Twins. I would hope so. Whisper, Whisper yeah, song? that one. Yeah, well, yeah, I, yeah I would so. think That'd so be because when they were like ten know. years old, that was like the naughty song. That was like, oh boy, dang, that song. That's no. naughty. I shouldn't. That song's do that. from like two thousand one. No, it's right? not. No, it was. It was yeah. it is. That's from no. college. It was 2000. Uh, we were talking. Wait about till that you song see what year this is from. 2006. <laughs> that's my guess. That's 2006, right? I, I'm. I think I would say it's before 2003. Mm, I don't know. Whisper and then I will song? apologize if I'm wrong. All right, let's. We're, we're looking it up. Because I feel like I was tight, everybody. So these kids will be one or two. Was 2005. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well so, done. But so Durs? Is it real? So but Durs? they wouldn't have been ten. Apologize. Yeah, but I apologize, but they wouldn't have been okay. ten. Okay. That's all they I wanted been, to hear. All I wanted to hear was an apology. They would have been four years old. Awesome. So my point is it's not a song that they were like running around to in junior high, and I wonder if they know it. So kids hey guys, out there, slide in the DMs whether or not you know slide the whisper in the song. DMs. We want to hear. And if all our listeners like and subscribe our podcast. Like it's, and subscribe. Uh, really helpful. Yeah, has Please. anyone out there subscribed? Slide in our DMs. Let us know if you mm -hmm. subscribed or liked the podcast. This is important. And it was. Yes, sir. Gosh, okay. This. Yes, sir. Is important. <laughs> important. <laughs> Thanks. That was great, Adam. Bye, that bitch. That was a great ending.